Hello everybody, today we have a wonderful lampy fixture to take a look at. I just can't get enough of these things. And here is yet another version that I have not seen before. So, uh, let's take a quick look around. On the ends here, we just have some flat plastic end plates. Uh, this particular fixture features a push button switch on the end. Usually it has a rocker switch. On the other end, we have the outlet for the cord. And it's the same on both sides. Of course, here we have the wonderful Lampy sticker. This one is in brown. I'm sure this fixture probably also came in white as well. Here we have the sticker on the bottom. There were two L-shaped mounting brackets that were on here, but I don't think they were original, so I took them off. Um, it didn't look original to me. It has a little bit of paint on it. I'm sure wherever it was, it got painted on, but I think whoever had it used it as an under cabinet light, uh, being that it had L-shaped brackets on it. Maybe that's what it was intended for, but this would be also perfect for like a hanging fixture since it's uh, symmetrical on both sides. Now we have the cord here. On the end of the cord, it does say Lampy, which is pretty cool. It is polarized. So let's go ahead and uh, take the cover off here, it just snaps off. And we have the original lampy bulb inside. F15 T8 warm white, made in Japan. Here we have the sockets. And one thing you can notice is that the ballast and starter socket are mounted on the channel cover. Uh, usually, it's not. It's mounted on the fixture itself. But here, it's a little different. So what we need to do instead is take the body of the fixture off to get to the inside. And uh, I've noticed that this one's a little tricky to do, uh, especially considering that the ends and everything that it's being held together with is plastic. So let me go ahead and get this popped off. So there we go. We have the, I would consider the body of the fixture taken off and the channel cover is where all of our components are. Now, as you can see, it's not exactly the best mounting procedure here for everything, but it is staying in place. We just have the, the one clip here on the end. We have a Robertson Transformer Company for one F15 or for one 15 watt or 20 watt fluorescent lamp. We have the original lampy starter here and the push button switch on the end. Pretty standard lampy affair here on the inside. So, we'll get this uh, channel cover snapped back on here. It just snaps on with these clips here on either end. And we just need to get it over the body of the fixture without pinching any of the wires. There we go. And it's all snapped back together. So we'll put the bulb back in. And that clicks into place. And we have our cover, which also snaps back into place. Pretty cool. Okay, let's take a quick look at this lampy flyer I have here. I'm not able to locate this fixture on their little brochure. I'm not sure uh, what model it would have been because a lot of them that are here have the all curved ends, which are most of the lampies. We're here, this one's flat. And on the other side, I don't see any representation of this particular design either. So we'll go ahead and uh, let's bring over 
the uh, informations. We'll plug in the fixture here to the, the meter. And make sure we can see it in frame. I'll go ahead and turn the lights off. Okay, so we got pretty much all the lights off. Let's do it a couple times here with just the circle line on. Definitely has some ballast noise to it. I'll turn off the ceiling fan so we don't have to hear that in the background. Let's try it again. Power factor of 0.57. Okay, let's turn the light off. Here we go. Okay, let's hold it above the camera here. It's about two feet above our little sensor for the lux meter. About 210. It's a very nice warm white color. Um, I do like the uh, warm whites, the original ones, they have such a beautiful color. If it's upside down, of course, you don't get all the light down. But uh, if it was any other side, you get pretty good light distribution. And the ballast hum isn't too annoying. I mean, if you were to, if you were like studying underneath it or something, I could see how that would definitely get annoying. But uh, for utility space, I think it's great. Let's try it again. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this quick little video of the Lampy 15 watt T8 fluorescent preheat fixture. Again, I'm not sure the specific name for this one, uh, but as you saw in the brochure, a lot of them definitely have unique names given to them. Maybe this was an earlier variant of one of them on the, uh, the brochure, so they changed the design a little bit. This one definitely looks like it could be mounted in a whole bunch of different locations, and it's unique that most of the components, well, yeah, all the components, are mounted on the ballast channel itself instead of the what I would consider the fixture body um, overall a very high quality fixture I really do enjoy these lampy products anyway I really do hope you enjoyed this video and also please comment share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching